Welcome back to my channel. So today I decided to make me an herbal tea for my hair and my skin. Um, I also wanted to make a tea with the herbs that I use from my garden. So the herbs that I use from my garden were mint and basil. Basil is the one that I'm picking right now. And I have like two different kinds of mint. The first mint right here is that smells like the mint in the winter fresh gum a bubble gum so i don't exactly know what kind of mint it is but it smells so it smells minty but it's not as minty as the other one it smells like the bubble gum kind if you if you know what that smell like and this one is just regular mint i bought this plant from the store the other one someone gave to me and the basil, uh, I bought that one from the store too. And I've been taking care of them and, and harvesting them and growing them in my garden. So I put them in uh, the leaves in a little bit of bowl. I didn't get a lot because I feel like I've been harvesting a lot of mint and basil and I need for it to grow. So I don't want to harvest too much. So I washed them off and I put them in my little teapot. And the tea bag that I have in there is um peppermint so it's a peppermint tea infusion that my sister actually gave me um the tea actually came out really 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 good so i was looking for see that mint right there i used some of that um i was was looking for regular mint but i did not have any regular mint which is weird because I, I guess i used it all up um i used some uh, i used a lot of different herbs uh i think the last one i up with dandelion yeah yeah okay dandelion i'm just trying to make sure so those are the three herbs i use i do like using fresh herbs and dry herbs um i do use bottled water particularly i love the still water uh when it comes to making um my herbs so i just put a couple of droplets of him him in into my um tea because that can actually take over and my whole tea will be turning red um but that is actually good it's actually delicious when it's by itself and you put some i, mean, I usually put sugar in it or some honey so this is just what it's looking like now and i'm just gonna put it on here and let it just cook while i get ready to make my uh oils so the oil that I had, I use were the the conductor oils that I use were grapeseed oil, olive oil, and castor oil with a little bit of coconut. Coconut is like my all time favorite oil, and I um mix those conductor oils together on my double boiler, and I put in fresh mint and fresh basil and with a mint tea bag too so they've been sitting there for they've been sitting there for about a week now um i i let it cook for a little bit of steam and then i turned it off and just let it sit there and let the herbs infuse into the oil and as you guys can see the oil itself turned really really dark so it was able to absorb all the nutrients that the herbs have and i right now just squeezing it out make sure that i can get all of it um i hate throwing away um herbs so i have this composting bin that's in my garden that i decided to just throw in there and i heard that the tea bags are really good for your garden this is my little garden that i have i do have some watermelon and cantaloupe growing right now this is a very small little garden but It'll get the job done and it's beautiful. So I plan on putting flowers and stuff around it. As you guys can see, I already had an orange peel in there and I just kind of threw that in there. And you want to make sure you cover it up and cover up everything so rodents won't come to your garden. I should have put that composting bin back. So this is um my tea and it's finished and it's ready and it was it was delicious look at that oil that's just sitting right there everything looks so good so i'm hoping that i can get um a little bit better a little bit more organized and when i tried to pour this tea inside uh the cup the first time i got so many um leaves and stuff so I was like, let me just sift through this out because i i would really enjoy my tea without all the bits and pieces and uh, flowers inside of my tea and then i went ahead i had to hunt for my um 
um honey uh i found some cinnamon sticks too i was gonna put it in there i was like but the honey made it sweet enough so i was pretty satisfied with the honey that i had i just took the back of my wooden spoon and mixed it in and i actually enjoyed my tea this is just something that i was just wanted to do uh drink some tea before i started making my herbs uh my oil and mixing it up those are the little bottles that i've been having i was like i need to make oil as you guys know i locked my hair and um i wanted some something good to, to some natural oils to put on my hair so i was like well let me figure it out so basil and mint they're both good for circulation uh and circulation is good for hair growth and strength it's a lot of benefits in basil and mint which i didn't even know i was just thinking i was just doing something i thought i was the first one to ever do this but when i looked it up like so many people are is making this kind of oil and i tried when i was putting it in the bottle as you can see i tried to use the little syringe thing like so nope that's not working i'm gonna come up with a better method i feel like i got oil everywhere but look at look how dark that oil is and rich it is and it sat there for i want to say about a week and um of me in the like i turned it on and off every now and then on my double boiler just so that it confused a little bit more i never really had it high because i didn't want to burn the herbs or uh, you know destroy the medicine that's within the oil and the herbs so yeah i actually ended up loving this oil i'm going to give my sister some too because she is locked she's coming up on a year uh with her locks and they're looking amazing so i'm going to give her this oh and i'm using uh the the roses that i got for mother's day um i'm going to make some um rose oil with it i had already made some i got a big jug on my table i don't know if you've seen it in this clip but it's a big jug on my table full of uh rose oil that i'm going to put in my little spray bottles and just spray that on my locks too and i'm just it's, it's good for a toner too on your skin so um i'm really into making all type of natural uh oils natural medicines ointment salves and and what better way to do that than to have a, a medicinal garden and and being able to make your own things and knowing how your stuff is grown so that's why i wanted to uh, make my compost to make my own compost but you guys are going to see more videos of uh, me making my stuff and i'm getting into herbalism too i want to get my certification for herbalism but this is what it looked like you guys thanks so much for watching and please subscribe